All right. This is a really great thing. Howard Stern is a big fan of the David Pakman show. There was like a 10 minute segment on yesterday's Howard Stern show where he basically just sang the praises of the show. And it's just such a great thing. So many of you I know also watch or listen to the Howard Stern show. Many of you know that I've been in Howard's audience since I was like 14. My mom would be driving me to high school and I'd listen to the seven minutes of the show that I could uh, in the car on the way. And I have always been wondering would there be anything that I could do on the show that would get me on the radar of the Howard Stern show? And I didn't really do anything other than just doing the show. And it turns out Howard is a fan. Check this out. This is very cool. But I will tell you, there is something not so cool in this, which we're going to get to in a moment. But check this out. So many of you writing to me yesterday about it. You ever watch this guy on the uh, Internet? His name is uh, David Pakman. You ever see him? No, I've heard that name, though. What is what is well, he? All I, don't, about? I, I, I don't know. I, I have a YouTube uh, subscription, so I just watch different things on YouTube. And this he's, he seems like he's a kid. I don't know how old he is. I, I love that. I mean, that that I that is maybe the best part of the entire thing. I love that. Uh, I seem like a kid, but he looks like a kid lately to me. But he's like a young guy and he he talks politics. Yeah. He's like a oh. commentator on, and he's really good. And I'm just wondering who he is and what he's done. I, I end up watching everything he does. Folks, folks, I think you can subscribe to his channel. Absolutely. Which I don't do. Like, I don't oh. pay for it. I get the free feed. You and, oh, you got to be kidding me, Howard. Oh, seems, do you give him a like or anything? Do you do anything no, for him? No, I don't give anybody any likes. <laughs> oh, that. I don't like anything, but I do like the guy. Just not giving a like. Uh, that's so dumb. To like, give me likes. We need those likes, though. Please. I have friends who are really into likes. Like, how come you didn't like my this or that? And I go, well, I don't know. I, I, I mean, I like it, but I don't have to tell the world I like it. This is this is very very good stuff. Like, this is really a great great thing for the show. And I'll tell you, there are some really big people that listen to the Howard Stern show every day. And I've heard from some of them over the last 24 hours. This is really a big deal for the show. I end up putting on YouTube and I watch different clips either about mm -hmm. chess or but this guy, David Pacman shows up. And he's like a commentator, like you'd see hey, they should really hire him on MSNBC. MSNBC doesn't want me. Now, that's a whole other story. Like every single one of these little cl clips could be a whole conversation. I've been on Fox News. I've been on CNN. I've been on Sirius Satellite Radio. I've been I have never been on MSNBC. MSNBC doesn't want me. They're not interested in what I have to offer. That's very, very clear. Oh, David yeah. Pacman's 39 years old. Oh, he looks like he's 15 to me. I'll take it. I thought he, he was like a, young... like a 15 year old and he's 39 to you. I thought he was wow. like a um, I thought he was like a uh, like a high school student or something who's particularly <laughs> bright. If, if I was doing what I was doing as a high school student, it would be an unbelievable thing. I would love that. I would love to go back and do it as a high school student. <laughs> so now he's a 40 year old guy. He's just, the, <laughs> yeah. you know, he's like everybody else. No, but he's very good. I, I mean, I, by the way, he's not paying for this uh, mention. I just I just was wondering if you watched him. I was thinking about him. You, the guys just told me he has one point seven million subscribers on YouTube. Really should be two million. So, well, good. that's nice. I'm sure yeah. he can make a living doing that. True. Yeah, no, it's not bad. Uh, let's just look at a couple of this. I can't tell everybody how much I enjoyed listening to this yesterday. We were every the, the, we were just all listening to this. Well, I don't know. You know, the, it seems to me the part that I see is free. And then it says, well, if you want to be a paid subscriber and like hear the rest of his content, you could pay. And I'm like, yes, well, I just like the free content. I oh. need. Well, he's got one point seven million of those yeah. subscribers. Yeah, but I think they're like me. They're cheapskates who won't pay for content. <laughs> Sadly, 99.3%. I don't want to say cheapskates. They're just they're not paying. That's Howard is not wrong. <laughs> yeah, a David Pacman membership costs 6 bucks a month. I'm not I'm not getting started with that. I don't even know how to get, send them 6 bucks. You Damn. know what I mean? I don't even like know how to do well, all that. Folks, we're failing. Through so. your YouTube subscription, you've got, yeah. you know, you filled out everything there. You can buy it in app, you know. Oh no. All right, I don't want it. I like Damn it. He doesn't want the bonus show, folks. Oh, the bonus show where you want to make money. But everybody else that makes money to fund themselves is bad.
the free version. But anyway, you'll, uh, take a him a, you'll take a little of him. You don't need a lot. Yeah, I don't have to get, <laughs> I, you know, I got enough of him. <laughs> but he's very good, and he like he sits there and he talks about politics. True. And I Simple. generally agree with everything he's saying. Why do you, folks? That is big. Here, because I mean, you already think what he thinks. Well, I love the way he articulates it. Thank you. This is, this is, I can't think of anything better than this. There's just a couple, I hope people are enjoying this. There's just a couple more of these. Okay, so why do I watch David Pacman or Rachel Maddow? So I like to find people who I still feel like they have a grip on reality. Oh, you right? need a group to, to yeah. shore yes. you up. Okay. Yes. It makes me feel better. Because Community, this is what I'm talking about that we need on the left. Because I'm sitting at home thinking maybe I'm out of my mind. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, th this is way worse than whatever they were accusing Hillary of doing with her emails. True. And yet nobody seems to be upset about it. Right. It's so. So anyway, th I'm not here even to I'm, I'm sick of uh, sitting and talking about Trump and this and that and the other thing. But I just that's I like this guy. That's all my point is. He seems okay. to be very articulate. You need to be uh, validated. Yeah. And I think if you disagree with me and everything I just said, watch this guy, Pac-Man. He's good. Pac-Man. He's Pac-Man. Incredible. Incre I mean, that's how can you say it's Pac-Man? That is why I watch people who think like me. And okay. David Pac-Man thinks like me. And I, I, I was just curious who this guy is and where he comes from because I, I, I'm an admirer of his broadcast. Incredible. Well, now you and know he's been around a while. Then maybe you can look up his background. He's not still in high school. Right. He probably went to college. True. <laughs> you can look him up. Robin that really is inferring a lot of important stuff. I listened to David Pakman because I found this guy on YouTube who is, has a very easy way of describing what is going on. Thank you. And you watch it and it makes a lot of sense. He's not, he's dealing in facts. And I like him. That's all. I don't know who the guy is. I don't know where he came from. I don't. Well, I'm glad to explain it all. And lastly, here's a funny thing. A guy calls in to say, what about Brian Tyler Cohen? And Howard's like, yeah, I don't know about that. But, and by the way, we love Brian. We, I was texting with Brian yesterday. And, and at first, when people wrote to me and said, he's talking about both of you guys, I wrote to Brian and I said, hey, apparently Howard's talking about both of us. Then I heard it. And this was the, the mention of Brian. We were laughing about it. Uh, Jerry, you're on the air in Maryland. Howard, Howard, how are you doing? I've been listening to you since uh, DC 101, way back when. Uh, nice. And I feel your pain about uh, about Trump and everything. I, I, I didn't call you for this reason, but if you're into uh, Pac-Man, there's also Brian Tyler Cohen, very similar guy. He's got a show also on YouTube. He has a couple million viewers too. Or, or yeah, sure. there's another guy I do watch. I don't, but but Pac-Man, I like the best out yeah, of Yeah, I like Pac-Man too. Very intelligent. And he, yeah. Who is that shaves, guy? Who is Pac-Man? By the way, who, anyway, who is this kid? Howard? All right. So anyway, we reached out and we said, if Howard wants to know the oranges story of Pac-Man, I'm glad to be on. This is fantastic. So th this is just a great thing. It's a great thing for the show. It, you know, whatever you think about Howard Stern as an interviewer, absolutely top notch, essentially created the medium and format that allows shows like mine to exist. I know a lot of people talk about Rush Limbaugh did this and that and the other thing. No, 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 no. Uh, really the sort of like community conversational uh, format that I believe all of these shows are based on and the idea that it is something people would engage with. I think Howard Stern is single handedly responsible for creating that. So this is a great thing. And in all seriousness, by the way, you know, I know we're joking around about Howard won't pay for the bonus show. The David Pacman membership costs six bucks a month. There you go. In all seriousness, it's emblematic of what we're up against. What Howard did yesterday is worth much more than six bucks a month to the show. But nearly billionaire Howard Stern loves the content. Uh, among all the things that he could watch, among everything he has to do, he could be hanging out with Billy Joel, right? Uh, and he's watching the David Pakman show and he won't get a membership. So it's not a criticism of Howard, but this is the uphill battle we're up against. On the right, some right wing rich dude stumbles across Ben Shapiro one time, sends five million bucks and says, use this money to run Facebook ads. And then they do it and then they grow. The right has that. The left is different. So at a minimum, OK, when Howard Stern says, I love the content, but I won't subscribe for six bucks, the minimum you can do is hit the subscribe button on YouTube. Help us get to that two million. And if you can, in all seriousness, go to joinpacman.com. 
get yourself a membership. You can use the coupon code indicted again. And uh, what what a day, what a day.